Testicles, testes. The testes are oval organs that lay in the scrotum and are secured at either end by a tissue known as the spermatic cord. The majority of males have two testes. The testes are in charge of creating sperm and testosterone, the principal male sex hormone. Seminiferous tubules are coiled masses of tubes found within the testes. These tubules are in charge of creating sperm cells through a process known as spermatogenesis. Epididymis. The epididymis is a long, coiled tube that sits behind each testicle. It transports and stores sperm cells produced in the testes. The epididymis is also responsible for maturing sperm. Sperm that emerges from the testes is immature and incapable of fertilization. Contraction forces the sperm into the vas deferens during sexual arousal. What are the internal male reproductive organs? You have several internal organs, known as accessory organs, that play an important role in the male reproductive system. These organs are as follows. Vas deferens. The vas deferens is a long, muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity, to just behind the bladder. In preparation for ejaculation, the vas deferens transports mature sperm to the urethra. Ejaculatory ducts. These ducts are formed by the fusion of the vas deferens and the seminal vesicles. The ejaculatory ducts empty into the urethra. Urethra. The urethra is the tube that connects your bladder to the exterior of your body. When you experience orgasm, it also has the added function of discharging, ejaculating, semen in males. When the penis is erect during sex, the flow of urine from the urethra is restricted, allowing only semen to be ejaculated during climax. Seminal vesicles. Seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches that connect to the vas deferens near the bladder's base. The seminal vesicles produce a sugar-rich fluid, fructose, that provides energy to sperm and aids in sperm movement, motility. The seminal vesicle fluid accounts for the majority of the volume of your ejaculatory fluid, or ejaculate. Prostate gland. The prostate gland is a walnut-sized organ placed underneath the bladder and in front of the rectum. The prostate gland provides more fluid to the ejaculate. Prostate fluids also aid in the nutrition of sperm. The urethra, which transports the ejaculate release during orgasm, goes through the prostate gland's core. Bulbourethral glands. Cooper's glands, also known as bulbourethral glands, are pea-sized structures situated on the sidewalls of the urethra, right below the prostate gland. These glands secrete a transparent, slippery fluid that drains into the urethra. This fluid lubricates the urethra and neutralizes any acidity that may be present as a result of residual pee. Can a man go through menopause? The end of a woman's regular menstrual function is referred to as menopause. Changes in hormone production are visible in women. One of the most significant changes for a woman after menopause is that she can no longer have children. Unlike the ovaries, the testes do not lose their ability to produce hormones. If a man is in good health, he may be able to produce sperm well into his 80s and later. Subtle alterations in testicular function, on the other hand, can occur as early as 45 to 50 years of age, and more drastically around the age of 70. Many men's hormone production may continue to be normal into old age, however others may experience decreased hormone production earlier in life. This is sometimes caused by an illness, such as diabetes. It is unknown whether reduced testicular function relates to symptoms such as weariness, weakness, depression, or impotence.